if you have curly hair, this video is for you. Guys with curly hair that don't know what to do with it, I'm gonna show you guys the products I use and what I do to fix my hair. I have curls type B. Best thing to do first is find out what kind of curls you have. It matters because of the products that we're gonna use. So some of the products that I use is Shea Moisture Leave-In Conditioner. It's gotta be conditioner and not cream. There are differences. There's a leave-in cream. There's a difference between cream and conditioner. Cream is gonna be for tighter curls. So if you have curls type C, you're gonna need thicker cream for tighter curls. Conditioner is gonna be for type B and type A. So if you have looser curls, this is probably gonna be the one that you're gonna to wanna to go with, leave-in conditioner. There is a leave-in styling lotion, but this is even more watery of a base than this. This is right there in the middle, which is perfect for our hair type. Another product that we're gonna use is curling cream. Curling cream is gonna do wonders when volumizing your curls. What the hell does that mean? Instead of having mini curls, it's gonna clump them up and it's gonna look a lot better. So curling cream, a little bit of this goes a long way. And after the two-step process of a leave-in conditioner and then a curling cream. This is protection, this is volume. This is going to be what holds everything together. So all the frizzies that you're gonna end up with, this is gonna help that. I don't like to style my hair with the conditioning cream because it is too thick for my hair. So Shea Moisture and Cantu are the brands that I use along with the Eco Gel, that's good enough. You don't wanna use any mousse, but Shea Moisture also has curling cream and it's called Style Milk. The reason I don't use this is because they the design is terrible. You can't even get the cream out, but still the same thing. First step process, shower. Make sure your hair is nice and wet. You don't want too many frizzies and it looks like I've got a couple of frizzies, so I'm gonna re-wet my hair. I'm gonna squeeze out some excess and get to work. First step, leave-in conditioner. If you put too little, your hair will frizz up. If you put too much, it's gonna be hard to shape it. Practice makes perfect. Next step, curling cream. A little bit goes a long way. That's as much as I'm gonna use. Last step, gel. I use this much. You dirty dog. If you use too much product, I recommend a microfiber towel or a cotton shirt to just scrunch some of it out. I'm going to keep scrunching it until this color is gone. And even if I'm left with some of them, usually when it dries, it's gone. Another tip to speed up the process, you want to invest in a nice diffuser. This is the actual diffusing piece, and this is the blow dryer. And you're going to look like an 80s woman sitting in a salon. You don't want to use a regular blow dryer, it's going to flatten out your curls. So after the gel process, you're going to be able to shape your curls, and that's exactly what we're going to do. And there you have it, the real curly fragrance. This is what I do to fix my curly hair. Practice makes perfect. I've been doing it for about a year to a year and a half to finally get it down to making it look this easy. But curly hair is not easy.